Welcome to Phone News Day with Kevin Clark. I am Kevin Clark. Ooh. It's been two weeks of play. We found a good Daniel Jones nickname. It is Steely Dan. It looks like Wilson right now from Home Improvement. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Above the fold, Vontez, perfect. January 2016, hits Antonio Brown. Gives Brown a concussion, suspended for three games. Preseason 2017, a preseason hit on Anthony Sherman, suspended for five games, comes down to three on appeal. Later that year, ejected from a game for contact with an official. 2018, suspended four games for PEDs. And Sunday, hits Jack Doyle, Colts tight end, with Doyle's knee on the ground, helmet to helmet, suspended for the rest of the season. I don't view this as the end of something, although it's probably the end of Burfick's career. I view this as the beginning of something, which might be a new era in the way the NFL looks at discipline for repeat offenders. The only way football becomes a safer game, and again, it will never be a completely safe game. It will always result in injuries. It will always be a violent game. That's the way football works. But the point of the suspension should not be just to get Vontez Burfick out of the sport. It should not just be to punish the Raiders for signing Vontez Burfick. It should be to make sure that there's a 17-year-old, and if he plays like Vontez Perfect, he doesn't play that way when he gets to be 23 years old and comes into the NFL. You have to change the way players play. This should be one of the turning points in league history. They should deal with people like this earlier. They should deal with this more swiftly. If you have four years of data that shows this is the type of player you are, you should be suspended for the season. I understand that's not collectively bargained. I understand that there's going to be a PA appeal. I, I understand they, they have to do that. But if you're also the PA, don't you have to look at the fact that a player like Perfect just literally harms players? If you get suspended for four games for PEDs, which incidentally Vontez Perfect has done, and you get suspended for three games for a hit on Antonio Brown, three games after appeal for a hit on Anthony Sherman, a fullback in preseason, you need to completely throw out whatever book led to that. The NFL is far too punitive on far too many things. We mentioned the drug thing earlier. Obviously the recreational drug use has just gotten a little bit ridiculous as far as suspension goes. On this, I actually agree with them. They should have more power to say, if you can't play the game the right way, you're out of the sport. This can be an important turning point in the way we view player safety in the NFL, which you know, if you care about this sport, you should care about player safety. You should enjoy the fact that these players are being taken care of more, and you should have a real, real animosity towards someone like Vontaze Perfect who's trying to harm the game. If the game is safer on Monday than it was on Saturday because you don't play football anymore, you should have never been playing football in the first place. Other headlines. John Gruden gets Vontaze Perfect, gives him $1.8 million cap hit. Names him a team captain. You look around that locker room and you say, I need a captain, Vontez Perfect. That's a bad sign for everybody. The guy, the guy who is too, shouldn't be playing football, he's my captain. El Capitan. This guy, this guy who can't stop getting suspended is the guy I'm going to name as my team leader. At some point, doesn't somebody have to say, hey, John Gruden, what the f are you doing? Hey, John, what are you doing? Should I, should I do a Gruden impression, naming Vontez Perfect the captain? Yeah. I tell you what, man, this guy, this guy Perfect, he is a leader. He, he plays eight games a year because he gets suspended constantly more than any other player in the history of football, but this guy is a leader. El Capitan. Does he talk like that? Uh, he does now. Other headlines, the Patriots play the Redskins this week. My pick is the Patriots. <laughs> Thanks, Can you do the whole thing in your Joe Buck voice? So here's Shea Serrano. Troy, do a lot of talk about his book, movies, and other things. No, He's no. made some waves. Do it this like week. do it like if we were making love and you were. Go. <laughs> Shea Serrano, <Ooh>. author, <laughs> Ringer employee, Spurs fan. That should have been first. You wrote a book. I wrote a book. When I wrote it though, it didn't. It wasn't torn up like this. This is how they do at the ringer.com. Uh, what's the cheese? Yes. Let me, I'll, I'll take some of this. I'm gonna get a cracker if that's okay. All right. That's tip, you don't wanna just bite right into it. I'll, I'll take a cracker with you. We should Lady in the Tramp the cracker. This is not a good cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Watson's getting the knocked out of him. It's hard to watch. Yeah. It's so frustrating right now. Bill O'Brien especially. I feel like he's doing it to me on purpose. 
He's like, Shay's watching. Him up. That's what it seems like. He's like, what's the, uh, what's the worst thing we could do right now? Let's do that three times in a row. But enough about your book writing career. <laughs> <laughs> Make the, the noise in the, in the edit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new thing. Have you had an impossible burger yet? <laughs> so uh, are the Texans going to win the division? Yes. <laughs> was that convincing? Yeah, it feel? was. You... Everybody's two and two right now. We're everybody. Better. There's no team in there where you're like, this team can win three games in a row. Did you see Deshaun Watson explain football to everybody the other day? Yes. So the safeties are doing, they're playing deep, and they're guarding number two. Corners sink, and they trap two. It was, was incredible. Cool. How did you, uh, did you feel like you understand football now? No. Yeah. I felt like when they show you pictures of sea creatures, that you didn't know existed. That's what I felt like when he was explaining all that stuff. Because yeah. you watch the game and you think you know what's going on. Yeah, like, oh, they're in a cover two. This person's gonna do this. A linebacker's gonna go yeah. through here or whatever. He's and like, then you start rotating. talking and you're like, what the yeah. is going on? That happens when I'm talking to like football coaches. They're explaining something and they'll, they'll say, just imagine that entire press conference. They say that all the time and I just go, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about ZZ Top? I uh, love him, I guess. <laughs> Horoscope. All right. Shay? Yep. Birthday? June 8th. Gemini. Gem Gemini man. Yes. What is he going to say? Movie titles at each other? Whoa. Joker. <laughs> I won. I won. It would be cruel to blame yourself for the coping strategies you created when you didn't know any better. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> really bad. <laughs> every every <laughs> horoscope we've done for three years has always been like, new opportunities are on the horizon. <laughs> Not Shane looking. Like you didn't know any better than your coping mechanism. It's not looking great. I would like to change my birthday. I would like to be a, a Pisces. February 23rd is actually my birthday. Oh, never mind, never mind. Never mind. It's worse. <laughs> I told you. Seek, seek help. <laughs> seek help and a mentor will materialize. Scratch. Maybe Scratch. this one won't take you the whole way, but what's important is getting educated <laughs> and take the next step. Here's mine. Whatever you can do to bring people together will not only be appreciated, but crucial to the alliances of the future. I should have done that one. I've never trusted anybody named Ho Holiday, name, Mathis. Holiday Mathis. There's no way I'm believing yeah. that. Bub Kevin. Can we nominate Carlos Hyde? Why? Because I love Carlos Hyde. He's come in, had some valuable downs for the Texans. Also, he has like furthered my hypothesis that if you're a black guy with a Mexican name, you're really good at whatever your job is. Like Julio Jones, for example, Carlos Hyde. That's two of your all-stars right there. Love Carlos Hyde. Thank you, Carlos. Will Fuller as well. Mexican name? Not quite. <laughs> you wrote a book about movies. I did, and other things. Hey. Denzel's, is that Danny Trejo? That is Danny Trejo. This is a section about like famous uh, action movie kills. Hey, I have an addition for you. All right. Uh, Bill O'Brien murdering this Texan I hate you. Danny Trejo. Welcome to Club Kevin. All time movie kill. Rams fan, donut guy. Child saver. Child saver. I feel good about this. He has tacos as well.